Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Wednesday market webcast. Okay, so the last couple of days we've been talking about the concept of Bollinger Bands and how the S&P 500 or the, or the futures, the, the, the S&P futures, which is what we primarily trade, how they react to the Bollinger Bands and what they like to do. And it's just a simple concept of, you know, lower band, middle band, upper band, upper band, middle band, lower band, middle band. So we talked about a couple days ago, we talked about how a conversion of the 50 would open up the lower band. We talked yesterday about how the bounce off lower band should, if the bales, if, if, if the bears, he tried to say, failed to convert the monthly pivot or failed to hold monthly pivot as resistance. And they had gone back to it a couple of times before that. And they did it again yesterday, uh, early afternoon, that if that couldn't hold down there at 4682, then it would open up a move to the green line, the 20 day simple moving average or the middle band. Why? Because it's what's next. If they hold this here, don't think for a minute that we can't go back to the upper band. Yes, it's new all time highs. What else is new? It is what it is. And in down markets, like we saw all the way down to that lower band, you can be short, but when it starts to bounce, when you get these rippers, you can be long, you can stand aside, don't fight price short. So it was really another day yesterday. Let's go to the hourly chart where off the open, it was nice. It was a nice little short, um, but right around you know that 1030 area, they start putting in lows and they start lifting to the upside. And at that point, you gotta be out of those shorts, you gotta be thinking about longs, or you gotta just have to get out of the way. What you don't wanna be doing is fighting price short all day long while they slow bleed you to the upside. So for us, we were short in the morning, we got long, and then uh, we ended up getting out of our longs, and then we got back in on the conversion of this monthly pivot. The monthly pivot had been important. It was resistance here, it was resistance here, it was tested here, it tried to hold, but by the time we got into one o'clock, two o'clock, we ended up getting long against 82. We're long 84, some of us are long 85. We've taken profits, and we are, you know, we're, we're basically holding a runner now. And it's, you know, it's turned into basically a 30 handle runner for us, which has been nice. It's been a nice trading week. It's been really solid. There have been a couple, you know, a couple few really good opportunities during the day. And, you know, nothing that you really want to be hyper trading, but just some, some decent moves. So going into today, you got a whole lot going on here. You've got the weekly pivot 4709. You've got the, um, the daily mid band coming in just under set underneath 4710, call it 4709. So really weekly pivot and the, um, and the 20 day are locked up. That's going to be the bull bear on the day. Just above it, you've got 4718, you've got the nine day. Um, and if you clear all of that, if you're the bulls, if you turn this into uh, support, then you can start to take a look at some of the areas from middle of last week, 4750 area, things like that. I would suspect that this area, at least for a portion of today, is gonna to wanna to chop. You just got a whole lot of stuff here. You've got the hourly mid band at 47, call it 47.05, half going on 47.06. You've got the nine day up at 47.18. So really 47.05 to 47.18 is a real candidate for, for chop and whip and consolidation if it wants to be. If the bears are just gonna lay down, then the bears are just gonna lay down. There's nothing anybody can do about that. And my suggestion again is you can be long, you can stand aside, although I think the velocity of the move higher is gonna slow down appreciably. What you can't do is fight it short. So if you're short from down here and you've been fighting it all after, you know, all afternoon and all night, and you've added a bunch of times, and you know, you just you can't trade like that. That's not a long-term strategy for success. And you can call it swing trading, you can call it a cantaloupe, you can call it anything you want. But what it isn't is a way to successfully be a trader for any, any reasonable period of time. And you need to stop that shit. That's from me to you. And if you want to learn a better way to do it, come see us. Because we definitely have a f hell of a lot better way to do it than that. There's a whole lot of people though, they're fighting it from here, they're fighting it from here, so fight away, fight away. We've enjoyed squeezing you.
We will continue to enjoy squeezing you if they want to keep going up. But you cannot fight these down market rippers or you will, you'll blow up. You'll blow up. Simple as that. Happens every day. Happens every day. All right. Volume weighted average price, 47.08. Sitting right in there around um, weekly pivot and the 20 day. Proprietary moving average, 47.10. So you've got so much stuff between 4705 and 4718. It is printed 4718 half, um, which is basically the nine day. So we're battling over it now. It could battle over it all day. We'll see what happens. We're just gonna keep rolling up stops. Um, that's all I've got. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well, come check out the room, stop fighting stuff short and being some kind of amateur swing trader that likes to blow up their account. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.